This is a CRT EB2 1139.0396.02. Now this is a Roland Swartz part, and this is a 10 MHz crystal oscillator OCXO, which is for the CMU200. I've got to figure out where this goes exactly and plug it in and improve the stability of the unit because the unit I've got it's just got a basic oscillator in there. So I've already done a calibration. I did a video on it a month or so ago. I did a calibration but it didn't stay accurate enough so it's actually drifted off a little bit between then and now. So right, I need a better oscillator because it's not accurate enough what I'm doing so I've got one of these. I'm not sure which option this works out because of the B11, B12 options and like that. I think B2 is the B12 which I think is the better one. I don't remember actually, I should look into that. So I just fired up the uh, Roland Swartz and had a look at the option menu and uh, it is B11 and B12, B12 being the better unit. Now the reason this doesn't quite match up with the codes is that there's actually two versions. So this is a CRTU module but the CMU module is exactly the same thing with, with, apparently with just um, a different code on it for the, for the different part number. Right, so the CRTU B2 is actually for the CRTU uh, unit as a, as a, as a um, time base for that. But if, it's, if it said CMU B12 it would be for this one. It's just different labelling I believe. It's, I've seen it mentioned in several different places that it's, uh, it's the same unit. I'll find out and plug it in. In theory it's supposed to be the same. Right, so we've got the CMU200 upside down, casing off obviously. So it's, um, now the module is supposed to go in here somewhere. And if I look, I can actually see there's a header pin mounted just here, side on, female header. And there's a slot on the side here, so I'm thinking this might have to go through the slot. Mm, no. Okay, let's try this way. There's, there's mounting screws there, so I'm sure it's the right place. Yeah, there we go. And it's got a locating slot in there as well for that pin, which is nice. So that should go into those header pins. Like that, it does. So all I need to do is get some suitable size screws and mount that in there. And that should be it. That should then give me a uh, OCX zone here. This is, this is the B12 option, which is the better one. So this is uh, pretty cool. Now I do have an issue with noisy fans in this thing. I'm not sure which one it is. There's a little fan just here on the side, which seems a bit... Seems to be a little bit of play in the, in the bearing on that. But both fans, they're not rumbling or anything, they both seem okay, it's just noisy. So I don't know, it's probably just nothing, but they are what they are, maybe. I'd like to try and get the noise levels down this thing, it's all it's a bit noisy when it's running. I need to put some screws in here. Now, they're probably metric, being German, it's probably metric. Right, so here's some uh, metric screws, these are 3mm. My first guess, we'll see here we go. Not sure if that's going in or not, I can't quite tell. Let's get a simple screwdriver. Hold on. Doesn't want to go in, it's not looking promising. Might not be 3mm. No, not 3mm. Not those ones in. Don't know, maybe the 2.5. It's not even starting, so it's not like it's an, it's an Imperial or anything like that. So it must be uh, two and a half mil. Right, so I'm going to uh, try and get this screwed in. Now, I've been hunting for screws to try and suit this thing, and I've been struggling to find the ones that actually screw in properly. So I've found a couple. I've got one which will just go into there. It's not exactly the right size, but... So the ones I haven't found that do fit will hopefully go through the aluminium and be long enough. Barely, it goes in about through it. So it's not ideal. So I found two which do fit properly. I'm not quite sure what size these are. I've got lots of screws which are similar dimensions, but I just don't screw in, so it must be maybe different third picture or something, I'm not sure, but anyway, get those ones in at least. That's two which are in that end to hold it up, so I'm just gonna put one more in there. And I'll just choose one which will hopefully go in well enough. It's not the best that one. Let's try it and see if we're going okay. These ones are close. Yeah, that's going alright. That's okay. I'll use that one. 
So there we go, that's the OCX zone installed. Now the question is, does it work? Alright, so it's the CMU200, just fire it up. I already know this is working because this is, I've recorded this about a week later. But uh, I just want to show you the actual result. Don't know where you can see that screen actually. B11, B12, there you go, B12 option. So yeah, it's working. It found it and it showed up. So that's all good. No problems there. And yes, it does all work. I've already tested it all out and make sure it's accurate and that sort of stuff. No problems at all.